Good morning, everyone. This is Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. Okay, uh, this is a file from a member, Gail, uh, and it's got a lot of really good teaching things in it, so I wanted to show you. Okay, she sent me the AI file, and this is one that turns into the dot. So I asked her for another one, and she sent me um, the PDF. <clears throat> But when I brought the PDF over, that didn't have these words in it. So I managed to get um, a file and switched it over to the SVG, and this is what it brought in. Okay, well, we want this green part here. So come up here, ungroup it. Remember to just come in and tag that outside part. Okay, so let's highlight it again. Come up ungroup again just come and get this part see what it does okay all right now I'm gonna highlight this and I'm gonna use this these toggle switches over here because I don't want to change the shape I just want to make it bigger because I need to be able to see what's going on in here okay and first I'm gonna come up here and hit preview because I need to see where the cut lines are right now Okay, I see that these are not union together. This is one big hot mess down here. And I see that these lines are uneven. Okay. All right. Oops. Done. All right. So all of these are individual. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to come in here and watch what happens to those uh join lines those join where they join when you union them huh they disappear that should not normally happen when you union excuse me when you union them they should just melt right together and be really pretty well what should you do well you come up here let's see let's choose close path let's see if that works Closed path is what you choose when your letters decide to do that for some crazy reason. Okay, so now I have this. I'm going to move this out of the way. This is fine. This is fine. This one. Okay, well, I could tell you those letters are sitting on this, so I need to burn them through. The problem is, is that they're all like pockmarked. They're not solid letters. So if I can't get them to be solid, I'm in trouble. Okay, I'm going to change the color. Let's come up to shadow. We'll do a blackout shadow and see what that does for us. See if it gives us what we need. Nope. You see how it's all still pockmarked in there? Oops, you know what? Let me get rid of this. Okay, so with this being so looking like Swiss cheese here. The best way to start to deal with this is we're going to come up here and we go to simplify and we start knocking down the nodes, okay? And you'll want to do this a few times. Get it down as far as you can. And that will actually start knocking out a lot of the holes and start making it a lot smoother. Okay, you see the difference here is now only nine. So I'm going to stop there. And granted, you can go in and pull a different font and do that. But if you are stuck with this font and you have to use it because this is somebody's logo, get your little brush, come in here, and as carefully as you can, 
start covering all of these holes and this is going to take me a little bit of time and a very steady hand and probably the use of the eraser <laughs> but as you see you can go around and start covering up these holes if you cannot change the font okay so I'm gonna pause this and come back okay so now I have went ahead and I have made it all um, filled in okay but as you float over you can see all of the things that I have colored okay so there is all of the things so now what I need to do is I need to highlight it all come up to path and click Union so that all of those lines become one because when you run it through your cutter you do not want to see or have all those cut lines okay so I need to come in here and fix one two three four things all right all right so now it is all fixed up and good to go so let's decrease the size all right and now I need to fix this okay so we can either approach it like this and union that all at once because union is melting things I won't lose made because that's in a hollow background so that's not going to melt into anything so let's bring this up here now if I wanted to union this of course it's going to melt right into that background okay because there is a uh, backing piece so let's say this way let's put it this way if I make my uh, top design the same color as the background all right and I hit Union it's all gonna be the same okay because if it's the same color think of it that way if you make your file all one color you put this on top of here if it blends in it's gonna blend in when you Union it okay so what I need to do for this one so we're gonna come up here and remember there's only two items on my mat here's one here's two I'm gonna come up to path I'm gonna click back minus front and that's gonna carve that out of it okay so there we go now we have this <coughs> So now there is our fully made file and it is all correct. This is now perfect. It doesn't have a million and one holes. This is now unioned correctly. So there we go. It's a fully correctly made file. So um, when you have things that present themselves like that, that's how you can go ahead and fix them easily. If you guys have any questions at all on how to do this stuff, Come on over to Scan and Cut Canvas and Scout Help on Facebook, and that's where you'll find us. Thanks, guys.